from South Alabama. Uh, this is what torrential rains and high winds will do to corn and tomatoes. Even though the tomatoes are staked up, tied up, they were just too tall and too heavy with tomatoes. And the corn was just too weak, I guess, to stand up against the wind. I'm hoping it'll come back up as the sun comes out today. I'm don't know what I'll do about the tomatoes over on this corn because if I pick them up they're going to break because they're so loaded with water. I did notice that there was a huge tomato on one of these tomato plants that I wanted to take off and make fried green tomatoes out of. If you've never had fried green tomatoes, you don't know what you're missing. But with all that leaf covering it, I can't see it. I do see one here turning. And look, look what all this water has and heat does to them. It's no good. I'll give it to the chickens. Hey girls, would y'all like to have a tomato? Oh, the sun that was going to help this sun, my whole sun that was going to help this sun build a, a chicken coop and run this past weekend had his birthday party, so it didn't get built, but it will this Saturday, good Lord willing. I want that tomato. I mean, that thing was huge. I think I spotted it. I have, if I can get to it, and it's still so green. Oh, there's two, look at this, there's two huge ones there. I don't guess it matters which one I take. Danny don't eat fried green tomatoes, he don't like tomatoes, period. He does like tomato sauce, but um, they don't like fried green tomatoes. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about those plants. Not a whole lot I can do without breaking them. Maybe if it doesn't rain, which they say we're getting more rain. I'm not gonna complain if you remember last year. We had a drought like you wouldn't believe. See those eggs right there on that leaf? And spraying it this evening wouldn't do any good because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it will wash every one of them off. So the best thing to do is if you see it, just pick it off. These peas should start blooming very soon. Uh, also the torrential rains and winds cause some of my little peppers to fall off. Oh, I see I've got strawberries that need some picking down under there. Got one nice bell pepper on there. I'm hoping it stays. And it, the wind took care of these. Didn't break them, thank God. So I can still stake them up. Can't be using this post because it's got to come out of the ground for the chicken coop. <laughs> Look at those sweet potatoes. They have gone crazy. Oh, I'm so curious to know how big the, since mine was planted so early, I'm so curious to know what, how big they're getting. I'm so tempted to dig one up, but I won't. I won't. I'll wait. And these have certainly plumped up since, it's, since all the rain came. I hope it doesn't ruin them. I thank the Lord for the rain because we needed it. It's time to get these carrots out. Weather's gotten too hot. They'll just be woody and not good. This is going to be a very short video. God bless. Hope everyone stands safe and healthy.